Hey folks, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach and trainer with a quick little update about a change that I just discovered on LinkedIn articles that you may find value with if you are in fact using LinkedIn articles. Here's what I'm talking about. So here's an article that I posted as I'm doing testing. By the way, if you ever discover an article, a social media post, a YouTube video, anything that has my name on it with the word testing up front, that's exactly what it means. I'm testing functionality in LinkedIn in all kinds of areas so I can answer questions for you so you don't have to spend time trying to figure stuff out. But let me show you what I'm talking about. This is all about adding hyperlinks on images, which I believe is fairly new. Hit edit. So in edit mode, I can come down here. Something else I want you to know about about images while I'm in here. Images on LinkedIn in general, in articles and in post. And that's the add description box. You'll notice that almost every one of my alt tags that I have on my images on LinkedIn all have my name, all have my three primary keywords, and then I end it with a little, a little statement about what this image is. I try to be pretty consistent about that because I know that this is huge SEO value here. Alt text is huge SEO value. So I always add that. Now, Here's the other thing, right here, this icon right here. This is a URL icon. If I click on that, if I put a URL in here, and I hit enter, by the way, you'll notice that I did not type in this. LinkedIn added that, okay? So when I hit enter, now when I publish this LinkedIn article, here's the published live article, You'll notice if I hover over that image in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen where the URL is, you'll see it's www.burrisconsulting.com. By the way, it's not even HTTP. It's just www. And then I did this one the same way here, so I can put any URL. And when I click on that, it goes to where I want it to go to. All right? So really worth paying attention to this opportunity to put hyperlinks on your images in your LinkedIn articles. Reminder, you can't put mail to because by default, when you're editing this hyperlink, LinkedIn is going to put the HTTP colon slash slash. So it'll it'll trash a mail to link. If I can get, we can get LinkedIn not to add that, then maybe the mail to links would work, but not today. So anyway, just a quick little update on test on adding hyperlinks to images in LinkedIn articles. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach and trainer, and I hope that's helpful. By the way, if you have not already discovered, I have a LinkedIn mastermind group kicking off the end of January 2020, right around the corner. So if you're interested in learning more about how to use LinkedIn, more about how to get value out of LinkedIn to help you grow your business or grow your career or your personal brand, then you ought to reach out to me and ask me about that mastermind group. And I'm Teddy. I'm here to help.